Yeah. Hello. I try, I try, I will try. Of course, uh, I think uh, that game against uh, Crystal Palace is a is a good example that uh, we need to go there uh, to Luton in, and thinking in that is going to be really tough because the stadium, the fans, and because it's a team that love to fight and love to you know work really really hard, and it's so difficult when you if you watch the last few games on 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 his on the stadium. It's always was tough for uh, for all the opponent. Um, yes, if we want to get some good result, is we need to be ready, of course, to play football. But I think it's going to be a really tough game because we need to match the desire, the, the capacity to fight in every single ball, and it's going to be yes a good uh, test for us. If Again, uh, it's, it's the challenge to be consistent, and for us, it's, uh, it's going now to go there and to be consistent, and first of all, to fight, to to be clever and be focused, and then uh, try to, you know, with our talent to to win the game. Yeah, with, with, with the, we talk about the young squad, the young starting lineup. Hopefully, now players beginning to come back from injury, players beginning to learn how you want them to play. If you can get a win, final game of 2023, does that bode well for a, a better? Yes, of course. That is our objective, being consistent. And yes, after the sixth game here, the last six game at home, I think uh, we're good because uh, it's to keep this, this run. And then to finish the, the year uh, with a good result is going to be really, really nice. And then, um, because during the season we are uh, struggling a little bit with teams like, uh, like Luton, and of course, that is a very good challenge for me. I am happy to go to play there because it's going to be good for our young uh, team, uh, a good experience. And now we know that if we want to win, we need to fight, we need to give our best. And, and of course, after to play football, that is uh, in the way that we know to play. Thank you. Alex, feel free. Yes, I really enjoy it because I seen is uh, because I am an old old man. I am romantic. I love the the football and, and the past and, and this type of stadium. I think made you to remember, you no, know, when I start to play, when you know the old Wembley um, a stadium that smell different. You know, uh, they are maybe. They are not luxury in the way that we recognize the luxury today, but in this type of stadium that you love to be there, you know, because it's history, because, uh, I don't know, are, are completely different. And today we are living in a different era with an unbelievable stadium, but when you go there and you see and you feel the real football. If they win, will they be allowed New Year's Eve and New Year's Day off to go to the party? To yes, yes, of course. Uh, Yes, of course, that is the plan. It's the plan. <laughs> the plan is to win and then to give uh, one or two days off, depending on the, the situation, the circumstance. Thank you, good luck. You're welcome. Nizal. Anne Marissa, I just want to ask you about the injuries. How is Mudrick? Uh, he looked like he had an ankle injury. Yeah, we need to assess Mudrick and Romeo Lavia also. Oh, finish. Lavia. Yes, he feels something, some issue, and we need to check. I hope that this is not. Uh, Yes, a little bit worried because I don't know if you watching the game you, you can appreciate that was change the position with uh, with Gallagher on the on the end because he was uh, struggling to run and and see and see what is going on. Hope that that is not a big issue and can be with, with us again. Um, important player you know, that we recover, but it's going to be a shame if we cannot use in the next few games. Any good news if somebody can come back? Anyone? Jesus. <laughs> No, no. No. Okay. Cool. Last one in this section over here, Alison. Marissa. Ah, yes. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, you say yeah, the game against Luton will be good experience for your young players, but did tonight not underline the importance of Thiago Silva because there was a maturity and good sense from him? But which is a great, the question? Sorry, that's not. 
Alison has talked about the youth of the team, but she's also highlighted the importance of Thiago Silva and his age and experience when he came on tonight. Ah, yes, no, of course. Like, um, again, Wolverhampton, we use, because of the circumstance, central back, like Benoit was, came from the, from the bench. And of course, Thiago is an experienced player and always, uh, it's not only important on the pitch, if not outside of the pitch. You know, because I see always is uh, giving uh, advices to the to the player, and yes, always is a um, it's so important to have a player like him. Yes, okay. no, you're welcome. Right, we'll finish there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.